Hey, what's up? Hello, I'm Jamara Payne, tarot reader and human design nerd at the Velvet Sun Tarot. Today, I wanted to give a quick tip um, about how to process your emotions in your body. This is something that I do as well as help my clients with. And processing emotions in your body really helps for one, bring the emotion from like a 10 to an eight or a two. Um, it, you know, it helps deescalate the intensity of the emotion as well as creates more self-awareness within yourself and within your own body. I think a lot of times we feel a variety of emotions in a given moment, in a given day, and sometimes it's hard to really connect why is this emotion popping up? What is the difference between anger and anxiety? What's the difference between excitement and anxiety? Um, I feel anxious a lot. Maybe that's why I'm picking anxiety. Or what's the difference between frustration and bitterness? Like, by doing this exercise, it gives you opportunities to be able to name your emotions quicker, easier, as well as link them to the thoughts that create those emotions and creates that lived experience within your body. So in order to do this uh, technique, this little exercise, you don't need much. You can do a piece of paper and a pen, or you can open up, you know, your notes app on your phone or your laptop or whatever, as long as you have um, something to take some notes with. So the first thing you'll do is write down for two minutes, sometimes five, um, any longer than that, I feel like our brains tend to go in a loop and start circling and spiraling past kind of five minutes. So I really try to take about two minutes to just stream of consciousness, write out everything I'm thinking. It doesn't matter how big, how small, how short the sentence is, who it's about, doesn't matter. I, I like to write it down. So I'll be like, I can't believe this happened. Why did this happen? Why did I do this? Like, oh my God, what if this happens? Or, oh my God, I don't have enough X, Y, Z or whatever. It doesn't matter. Write it down on your piece of paper. You probably will feel as you're writing down the intensity in your body um, for whatever emotion that you're, you know, you're feeling at the time, anger, frustration, bitterness, uh, anxiety, whatever. So take a few minutes to write those down. Once you write them down, um, you can either move straight into the embodiment practice or review the notes, then move into the embodiment practice. It's generally best to kind of feel one way, which when you're first starting out, this is difficult. So you'll feel a lot of things at once, which is totally fine. But what I mean by that is some thoughts might lead to anger, while other thoughts in the same list might lead to frustration or anxiety or depression or whatever other emotions. So sometimes it's easier to pick one sentence that's really bothering you if you can. Once you wrote down the list, if you're already just feeling very triggered on the inside, it might not be as helpful to reread the list. But if you're a little bit more practice at this or um, maybe aren't feeling as charged at, now that you've written everything down, but you're still kind of curious as to what the one thing that really is bothering you or triggering you is, go ahead and reread the list. So once you have maybe the one thought or maybe you're feeling the feelings, you know, you, you feel that you have feelings in your body, or even if you don't, even if you think you feel numb, you still might be feeling something. So you can still do this practice. So you can, so to move into the embodiment practice, Go ahead and close your eyes, or if you aren't in a space, you can close your eyes, or maybe you don't feel safe to close your eyes. Um, soften your gaze on something. Generally, like I'll look down, like right now I'm looking at where it says MacBook Air on my computer. Like you can look down at something, you can um, candle gaze, this is a flame. <laughs> you can uh, look at the flame of a candle or, you know, look, uh, look straight kind of down. And don't focus on one particular thing, kind of let your gaze kind of soften and kind of uh, get fuzzy. And then once you've done that or close your eyes, start scanning your body. You can either pick the first thing that really is standing out to you, or you can start at your head and work down or start at your feet and work up. So let's say you might be feeling some anxiety. That is a very common emotion for me. So <laughs> generally when I do this, it's when I'm feeling anxious. Um, so I generally close my eyes and I will just start saying out loud what is going on um, in my body. So I will say, 
my throat is dry, my eyes feel like they're about to water, my chest is tight, my heart is beating super fast, my, or faster than normal, my hands might feel sweaty, or I might feel like if I'm angry, I might, un you know, if unintentionally or un subconsciously making a fist, and I feel like, oh, I'm making a fist. Uh, my legs might feel really activated, like I need to run somewhere. My stomach, uh, this is the big one for me, generally, like I get very nauseous or I get stomach cramps. I, a lot of my, I, my personal anxiety lives in my stomach and I've found for a lot of people it does. Or maybe, oh, my lower back hurts. Or even I've had like, oh, my left bottom jaw all of a sudden hurts. Like it's really interesting to see what parts of your body are, are kind of, um, activated along with your brain. So after I um, say what is happening to me out loud, I will then thank my body for letting me know that it's trying to tell me something. Because I think a lot of times, um, I know for myself especially, and in my experience with my clients, we generally forget that our bodies have messages for us. <laughs> we generally uh, trust our brain so much for what's going on and how to process things that we don't trust our body as much. So I will thank my body for letting me know because it is also an awareness center. So I'll be like, oh, my throat is really dry. I feel like, you know, every time I swallow, I wanna cry. Thank you for letting me know, body. My heart is beating really quickly. My chest feels tight or warm. Thank you, body, for letting me know. My stomach, oh, it feels like a tsunami. Thank you, body, for letting me know. So I'll go, I'll body scan do the whole body. I do this for 30 seconds to 90 seconds. I generally don't go past two minutes. It, it normally doesn't take me that long. I've been doing this for um, quite a while now. Um, but it takes about 90 seconds for your body to kind of um, figure out what your brain was saying and then react to it. So that's why I try to tell um, people to do 90 seconds. Just going through that. And then after I've after the 90 seconds, after I've scanned my body, I will then um, ask myself like, okay, I started, I was like at a 10. How do I feel now? Oh, I feel an eight. I'm still very anxious, but not a 10. Or, oh, I'm very calm now that I've acknowledged it, I'm a two. Like, I, you know, as long as you're not in the same spot, that is the goal. You don't wanna still be a 10 if you started a 10. Hopefully you're an eight or a six or a whatever. If you are feeling that um, it's hard to maybe uh, be as loving towards your body or be as calm, uh, um, not calm, but um, embodied, like it's it, if you're finding a hard time really closing your eyes or softening your gaze and getting curious, everything just feels so overwhelming. Another thing I like to do, and I'm for real 100% serious when I say this, is I like to pretend that Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus is with me on this journey. I find that um, for one, it makes it less serious because I'm imagining a cartoon character. I also take the responsibility of me having to acknowledge these things and I give it to this other person to acknowledge and literally drive the experience. She's driving the Magic School Bus through my body because Miss Frizzle, she's down to explore anyone's body. <laughs> and so why not explore mine and what's going on? So if I do find myself really having a hard time getting in my body, I will just imagine Miss Frizzle getting in the school bus. I'm on there with her. I don't remember any of the other characters' names, but if you were a big fan and you want to imagine they're with you, go ahead, do that too. And then I just imagine she flew into my nose or I swallowed her or whatever. And she's just driving the school bus in me and is like, wow, look at that heart. It's beating really quickly. Well, cause she's amazed. She's always amazed at what's going on. She's always very curious as to what's going on. Like, oh, wow, um, her heart is beating really fast. Or, oh, wow, look at that stomach. It's really wavy. It's going, it's, it's everywhere. It's nauseous. Let's get on some surfboard. Let's wave, let's uh, ride that wave of nauseousness. And I will imagine myself and Miss Frizzle surfing on my stomach and and saying you know thank you stomach for providing these waves so i can surf and explore so that's another thing that sometimes i'll do to maybe depersonalize the experience in some way and give the power quote unquote power to miss frizzle to kind of guide the experience so 
I've been doing this for a while. So I generally know like, oh, my heart's beating. My stomach's crazy, which isn't, my stomach isn't crazy. My stomach is feeling wavy of nausea or waves of cramps. Um, I know that's anxiety. But if you are just new to this and not quite sure as to like what body sensations match which um, emotions, I would journal it um, or even voice record yourself saying them real quick and saying, oh, my, my chest is tight. My you know legs feel like I need to run. I think I'm feeling anxiety, um, but I'm not sure I'm going to check in next time I feel this and see what's going on just um you can you can list out you can even type um out like type a uh, list of emotions and it'll give you a list in google of like different emotions you can look at and be like oh i think this is anger i think this is contempt i think this is uh fear you know uh uh whatever ones match and then from that list of what you're feeling in your body plus the thoughts that kind of led to those feelings I like to tell people now, take that list and bring it to your life coach, your therapist, your spiritual leader, a, you know, a trusted friend, whoever you like to maybe bounce some of these things off of, preferably some type of professional and say, I have these sets of thoughts. I feel these feelings in my body. I know there's a connection. I would like to break the connection. I would like to get to know the connection better. I would like to change the connection whatever, um, whatever comes up for you. But this is just an exercise that I like to do. Uh, and I like my, uh, to suggest to my clients to do to really, to really get to know themselves better and be able to reflect more effectively and break the patterns that really hold you back from living your most authentic life. So I would love to know, have you ever done an exercise like this? Did you do it? Did it help? Do you have any other exercises that you do to get embodied and feel your own emotions? Feel free to leave them in the comments, email me, uh, however else you wanna reach out to me. That's probably the two best ways, leave them in the comments or email me and please like the video. If you like the video and subscribe, it really helps the YouTube algorithm know that people are interested in these types of videos and helps serve them up to other people who might potentially be interested in these videos. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.